This your boy E. Wilson and JTC is on the move over here. In this Texas, check this out. Got a few updates. Listen, uh, those who follow me know that um, I was over in West Texas last week and uh, Mom Sue Williams, JTC team down in Post Texas uh, did an incredible video, uh, a testimony on how um, she has uh, stage four cancer. She was given a death sentence pretty much. 12 to 13 years ago and she's going to be sharing on that video how she's still here so anybody who may be struggling with that disease or has that disease this is something powerful that i know will be an encouragement and uplifting to whosoever or whatever you may be dealing with in life she is an incredible lady so stay tuned for that's going to post tomorrow also real quick i got another testimony from the prison uh this brother the letters are still coming in and uh this brother just shared um Brother E, I got to say thank you for thinking about me and praying for me. God bless you. I just wish other people in my life would um, somehow, uh, that somehow don't write at all how much I need to have their support. And I am not, uh, and, I am a, and I'm a total stranger to you, but you have love for Christ so strong and it's uh, uh, your life uh, to know me. Uh-oh, I'm messing up here. Uh, let's see here. Let me back up. Uh, how much he needs the support of his family. And, I, and he's a total stranger to me. But my love for Christ is strong. And it's, uh, it's like I have known him personally, you know, pretty much all his life. And all the other brothers that you write, Brother E, uh, I really appreciate it. So thanks for your time. Uh, we really, I really can't put into words how much it means to me uh, that you take the time to write me and the other brothers. So, you know, these letters, I'm just giving you a little snippet of the letter, but these letters are still coming in. And so we're so excited that, you know, even though we can't physically be at the prison, but the letters can still go in there and touch lives. When a guy's sitting on his bunk or wherever they're at and they get the letter and whatever they may be going through at that time with some encouraging words to lift them up, it's just a beautiful thing. So I hit on the Mom Sue Williams video post tomorrow. And the last thing I'll just share is I'll be posting the JTC pictures. We saw the video yesterday. Uh, we got new gear in. Um, and so we're really going to be posting. We're really going to be pushing the gear, the headbands, different colors and stuff like that. So we're excited about it. So listen, if I can say anything to you today, I said it yesterday. You're watching this video, you're alive. One of the things uh, when I share these letters from the prison is for one, you know, let people know who support us know that, you know, this stuff is working. But for two, it allows us to hear somebody else's struggle. And a lot of times it brings our own life into perspective to say that whatever you're dealing with, you know, somebody's dealing with something worse. So not that we like what we're dealing with, but when you compare it to what somebody else is dealing with, sometimes it's able to bring a balance in the moment. Uh, and let me, I'll drop this one on you because I had a conversation uh, with another business partner yesterday and, you know, he had mentioned about this guy um, over in Seattle who, because uh, he asked me, I work for the airlines. He mentioned this guy over in Seattle who took the airplane uh, the other week and crashed it. And he was just saying that, you know, uh, you know, it seemed like the guy snapped from the radio and, and the radio and when he was computer, uh, uh, communicating with the control tower and all that stuff. And he was just like, man, I mean, I just, he's kind of saying he just don't get it. And I said, a good friend had showed me that long time ago. All it takes is a second to snap. Anybody. The same people we see on the news who lose it could be you and I tomorrow. Right situation, right time. All it takes is a second to snap. I don't care how, how well-mannered or how spiritual you think you are. Anybody can snap. That's why we have to watch ourselves and be careful because a lot of times when we snap, the snapping is just the fruit, uh, which is the root of unhappiness, bitterness, drama, whatever's going on all these years, it comes to a head a lot of times. And that's why I try to share with people, listen, try not to stress out, think on a positive note. I ain't trying to sound like a goody two shoes. What I'm trying to say is that with all the pressure today, all it takes is a moment. Everybody has had suicide thoughts come through their head or what you just think, you know what, man, it's even worth it. Hey, I, listen, if you ain't you had, you came close to it, you wanted to kill somebody, you wanted to slap somebody, you wanted to do something that may have been out of your character. And I've always told people, listen, you got to watch yourself. You got to watch what you're taking because anybody, so when I see this stuff, 
I don't judge nothing. I'm just saying, I don't know, you know, wish somebody was there to talk to the guy before he got to that point, you know. Um, you know, it's just a tough situation, but that's the word for you today is that, listen, don't let stuff build up. Let it go, man. Move on. If people don't want to talk to you or don't want to hang out with you, let it go. But don't get angry and bitter about it. Like I said, you got to learn to hang with yourself. When you enjoy hanging with yourself, you won't feel the pressure to have a whole bunch of people hanging around you. So I'm going to drop the mic right there, E. Wilson, right here. JTC is on the move. Mind you, are going to have a conversation. Share this video. Like I said, we're going to be posting the gear. We're excited about it. Thanks to all the JT supporters. Have a great day. Let the stress go. There's no benefit in it. If you're going to have a conversation, make it a good one.